Hi, welcome back to Ethical Hacking. Today we're going to look at a few enumeration scripts that will allow us to get a little more information about our host when we're, when we're performing a network scan. If you look up here, we're going to look at change the nmap scripts directory. You don't have to do this, it's not required, but it saves a lot of typing in the long run when you're typing the scripts out. If you don't switch to the directory, you have to type entire paths. And I'll give you an example, example here. We'll do nmap dash dash script, and I'll do equals user share nmap scripts, and then the script name, whatever the name is. Now, if I switch over and I go over to CD to user share nmap scripts, then all of my scripts are in the directory with me. So I don't need to type that long command again. This right here, I can just type nmap, try that again, nmap dash dash script equals, and I can just pick something like that. And then the host 10.25.150.99. And we can just run that. And it comes back and tells me this is completely unrelated to the Windows Server that I'm running right now, so it's a waste of time. It's also not one of the scripts that we'll be using, so we don't need to worry about that one. But that's an idea that we don't have to type the entire path. We're going to look at four scripts for our enumeration. We're going to look at enum shares, enum sessions, which is enumerate. These are enumeration scripts. And then OS discovery. This gives us information about the operating system. And then enum users this is another enumeration script for users. So let me put those enums together and we'll put it OS discovery, which is really enumeration of the OS down at the bottom. So we've got an example here, gives you all of those scripts at one time. So we can just type this right here with the IP address of our system. And it will run all four scripts at once. Now if I go back over, I can see that my IP address is now 10.25.150.99. So I'll type that in, 10.25.150.99. So the options I have here, sudo. So I wanna switch over and make this uh, super user do kind of thing nmap, the command itself, dash n, don't try to resolve names, this is a private server, don't worry about checking DNS. Uh, T5, insane timing, do this really fast, don't worry about timeouts. Uh, dash p, the ports, in this case I was doing a bunch of SMB scans and I had the uh, SMB ports up there, we can delete that, it'll do all the ports, well all the regular ports it does. Uh, the dash dash script option which gives us our script and then the IP address. Pretty straightforward, you know, not very complex. In this case, the only complex portion is we entered all four scripts separated by a comma inside the nmap statement. So we have nmap, we have our switches right there, and then we have our argument right there. So let's press enter. And, you know what, I'll put a time on this. Let's see how long this takes. Right now it's running through a number of things uh, to try to get information about that host for us. Now it's done. It took uh, 7.25 seconds. Let's see what it found. Well, there's my command that I ran. We can see a couple of uh, different ports were open. The first one that we got a result from was enum sessions. We see the administrators actually logged into the PC right there. Then we have enum shares, and we can see that we have a number of shares on there. We have uh, the C drive shared out administratively. That's uh, the dollar sign means it's a hidden share. So if you ever see a dollar sign at the end of a share, it means that share is hidden. Uh, finance, there's that. Marketing, sales, security, uh, what support. So we have a couple of different, and there we go. Current user guest access read. So you can pop in and read their financial information or anything else. What else do we have? and SMB OS Discovery. It's a Windows Server 2003 R2 3790. I guess that'd be build 3790 uh, Service Pack 2. We can look at the more information right there about that and what work group it's on, what the computer name is, and the system time, what time it thinks it is. And that's it. So that's the enumeration for those four scripts. You can run each of those individually or you can run them all at once, just like we did with this statement right there to run them all at once. Either way works just fine. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day.